Hello, I'm Seema and thank you for returning to solve the second problem now. So the question 2 here is that the mass of an electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kgs. If its kinetic energy is 3 into 10 to the power minus 25 joules, you have to calculate the wavelength. We know that kinetic energy is equal to half mv squared. And we have to calculate kinetic, the mass first. So what would mass be? Mass of an electron is given, sorry. And we will first calculate the velocity. So velocity square would be equal to twice kinetic energy upon the mass. Am I right? So if we have to calculate the velocity, if you remove the square here, we have to find the square root of this. That is 1 by 2. Now let us substitute the values to calculate the velocity. Twice kinetic energy given to us is 3 into 10 to the power minus 25 joules. Now joules can be converted into kg meter square second to minus 2 divided by mass which is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kgs. Now why we do this is so that we can cancel out the units properly. The kg and kg will be cancelled out and the m to the power 2 and s to the power minus 2. If you divide these by 2 you'll get m and s minus 1. And velocity, the unit of velocity is meters per second. So this proves that we plugged in the right values. So, and the right units too. So when you solve this, you will get the answer that is 812 meters per second. 812 meters per second would be the velocity. So now we know the velocity and the question is that you have to calculate the wavelength. Lambda is equal to h upon mv where h is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second. So kg meter square second minus 2 second, second 1 plus 1. So plus 1 and minus 2 would become minus 1. So we just simplify it here itself minus 1 divided by mass of an electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kgs into the velocity which we have calculated is 812 meters per second. So meters and one meter is gone here, per second per second is gone here and kilograms and kilograms go here so wavelength would be left in meters which is right. Again we plugged in the right values. So what would the answer when you solve the numerical part? You will get the answer 8967 into 10 to the power minus 10 meters would be the wavelength. And minus 10 meters means it is 8967 Armstrong. But we would like to report our answer in meters. So the solution 2 here, 1 is this, 2 is 8, 9, 6, 7 into 10 to the power minus 10 meters. So this was solution 2. Solution 3 now. The next question. You have to calculate the mass of a photon, a photon of light with wavelength 3.6 Armstrong. So let's calculate the wavelength is equal to h over mv which is equal to 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 kg meter square second minus 1 because plus 1 and minus 2 would become minus 1 divided by the mass of oh sorry you have to calculate the mass of a photon not the therefore the mass would be mass would come up here and wavelength would come down here and we've been given the wavelength. Calculate the wavelength is 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 10 meters. We convert the Armstrong into meters. Into the velocity is the speed of light because it's a photon. 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. 
So the meter, one meter goes here, one meter, second, second goes here, one meter and one meter, and the mass will be in kgs. And when you calculate this, the mass comes out to be 6.135, 6.135 into 10 to the power minus 29 kg. So what do we see? The mass of a photon is is in the ratio um, in the range of 10 to the power minus 29 kgs and the mass of an electron is 10 to the power minus 31 kgs so the masses are very very small and that is why the wavelength is of 10 to the power minus 10 here and the wavelength in this case is 10 to the power minus 10 too so when the mass of the particle or a photon of light is very very small a particle like electron the wavelength is large enough and we can see the wave nature of the uh, of that particular uh, particle whether it's the particle of light or it's a particle of matter but dual nature is present in both matter and particles but when the mass is larger we cannot see it it's not noticeable that's the only thing so de Broglie, he, uh, de Broglie, he made sure or he made it clear to us that both matter and electromagnetic radiations have dual-like nature. So this was another step towards the quantum mechanical model of an atom. Thank you for watching. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel and return for more. Bye-bye.